What's up guys and welcome back to our at-home workout number 26. If you feel anything like Alex and I do, you probably are in desperate need of a recovery day. So that's what today is going to be. So as we get started with our recovery day, we're going to get started with our Tabata style warm-up of an inchworm, then we're going to go to butt kicks, and then finish with ice skaters. For our warm-up, we're going to be starting with an inchworm. So, hinging at the hip, taking your hands to the floor, walking your hands out into a plank position, and then we're going to be walking our hands back to our feet. Stay down here in this position. We're just going to be continuing this for 20 seconds. Once we finish our inchworms, we're going to be moving into butt kicks. So, keeping those knees to the floor as we take our heels to our butt. 20 seconds of butt kicks, and then we're going into 20 seconds of ice skaters. All right, I know you guys make fun of me for this movement, but as we step to the side, we're taking this foot behind as we touch the floor next to our toe. We hop to the side, touch the floor next to our toe. All right, we're staying here. Light touch of that back foot, keeping majority of the weight in the front leg. So, inchworms, butt kicks, and ice skaters. That's your Tabata warm up. Once you guys get through your warm up, we're going to get right into our workout. So, our workout today is going to be a 24 minute alternating imam. We've got six different movements that we're going to go through four rounds of. So, it's a lot of movements um, that I can't necessarily remember in order, so I'm going to have to use the whiteboard for assistance. So, our first movement is going to be a, a crab plank. Then we're going to move on to double under or triple under practice. If you have double unders and you want to uh, push the envelope with some triple unders, work on that, then you can. But if you're still struggling with double unders, stick to that. After you finish your double under practice or your triple under practice, we're going to move on to hollow to arch rolls. After that, we're going to move on to 25 high knees, moving on to bear crawls, and then we're going to finish with a seated hip rotation. I'll demo all those movements. I know some of those you probably never heard of or you forget what they are, but I'm going to demo those here in a second. But it's going to be 24 minutes of four rounds. So four rounds of each movement, each of those six movements. All right, guys, as we get into our alternating EMOM, we're going to start off the first minute of holding a crab plank. So I know crab walks are a lot of you guys' favorite. So this time we're just holding a plank. So we're going to get here in this position on all fours as we push our hips into the sky. All right, just nice, steady plank, squeezing our butt, pushing our hips into the air. As we open up our chest, keep our head and neck neutral. We don't have to let it hang. I don't want you wrenching your neck, looking at your belly button. But try and tabletop as much as possible. Squeeze your butt, raise your hips in the air. We're gonna hold that as long as we can for a full minute. <clears throat> Then we're going to move on to our double under or triple under practice. So, like I mentioned before, if you guys have double unders and you want to uh, work on a little bit higher skill of the triple under, then work that practice for that full minute. Once we finish our practice for the minute, we're going to go on to hollow to arch rolls. So, we're going to start on our backs in a hollow position, then we're going to roll into arch to the right side, then we're going to roll back to the hollow. Then we're going to roll to the left side, and then we're going to roll back to the middle. All right, so it's a, you're going to start in the middle, go to the right, go back to the middle, then go to the left. All right, so it's back and forth. Moving for that full minute, getting as many reps as you can, but trying not to touch the ground with your arms or your legs, all coming from the core. So we're trying to roll as we crunch, and we're using our obliques, and our abs and our low back and our butt to keep ourselves in either a hollow or an arch position. Once we finish that, we're gonna go on to 25 high knees. So, keeping your hands right here at about your waist level and then bringing your knees up to your hands. Okay, high knees, total of 25, just so you're not doing a thousand reps doing high knees for a full minute, okay? So once you get to 25 reps, just go ahead and rest the remainder of the minute. Whenever we finish our high knees, we're going to go into bear crawl. So I would say finding a spot, either in your yard somewhere, it's about 25 foot long, just like here in the gym, from tape to tape, and then we're just going to be doing a bear crawl for a full minute. So I'd say we can get somewhere around 75 to 100 feet on a bear crawl, but just moving in a bear crawl position for a full minute. Once we finish that, then we're going to move on to seated hip rotation. So last movement here of each round. 
is going to finish with a seated hip rotation. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into this position here, so that 90-90 position. One leg is internally rotated, the other leg is externally rotated. What I want you guys to do here is switch sides. So basically folding your knees to the other side. So as we sit tall, chest is tall, we're opening up, and then we're just rotating our knees to the other side. Depending on how tight your hips are, this can be very difficult. So if you need to lean back a little bit, brace yourself with your hands behind you, open up your hips, and then go back to the other side, then you can do that. But making it as challenging as possible, keeping your hands off the ground, keeping your chest tall, opening up your hips, and then laying your feet to the other side. So, in order to get started here, I'd say sit on your butt, put your knees, or your feet out front of you here, flat on the floor, and then just pick a side, lay your knees to the side. All right, that knee should be right behind that heel on the other leg. So, seated hip rotations to finish the last minute of each round. So, those six movements we're gonna go through four rounds of. If you guys have any questions about them, always reach out to me. But, that is gonna be your alternating EMOM for today for our recovery day. And for those of you guys that want a little bit of extra conditioning today, what we're gonna be doing is keeping this aerobic so we're not gonna get too crazy, but it's gonna be 25 minutes of a steady state of bike, row or run, whatever you guys want to do. If you have a row and you want to row or a bike and you want to bike, then y'all can do that. But 25 minutes of a steady state, but every five minutes on the minute, including zero, we're going to be doing 10 push-ups plus 10 burpees. So once you finish your 10 push-ups and 10 burpees, you're going to continue your steady state. So going back to your running or your rowing, maintaining that consistent pace until that next five minute hits, and then you're going to be doing your 10 burpees or sorry, 10 push-ups and then 10 burpees and then continuing back where you left off. We're going for max distance here, but I want you guys to maintain an aerobic pace. So keeping that heart rate, I'd say at or below 130 beats a minute. So pace that you're able to maintain a conversation with and then keep that throughout the whole 25 minutes. So for those of you guys that want a little bit extra work, that is for you. All right guys, that is a wrap for our at-home workout number 26. Hope you guys have a great day today and are able to get outside and get this recovery piece in. Even though it won't leave you on your back, it's not super intense. Uh, just something that's going to get you sweating, get your blood flowing a little bit, get you nice and ready for the workout tomorrow. But in the meantime, if you guys have any questions about the workout, always reach out to us. But until then, we'll see you guys on the next video.